So YouTube family, we got a situation again here with this whole takeoff murder situation in Houston. During the Grammy performance of Quavo, which was a legendary performance, giving honor and homage to the late great takeoff who actually blast off into the history books he went from being amigos to aka the beatles he will live forever but that ain't what i'm here to tell y'all take off and quavo go back and forth backstage and a fight gets started and you won't guess who's the one who started the fight first it's not who you're thinking but we need to start this the right way before we get started i need the all the i smoke hip-hop nation to vibe with us one time and hit that like button Hit that notification bell and come rock out with the I Smoke Hip Hop Live movement. We keeping things in motion over here. Steady, rocking, rock and roll. Go check out Pesh Mayweather YouTube channel. Rock with the king one time. Also go rock with his Instagram. I'm going to keep this thing rolling in motion. So what happened this unfortunate night at the Grammys performance? It, it went like this, man they were backstage doing their thing and you know how they love each other and they rock with each other well the the, the group was in the backstage and everything was motioning right and then they said quavo basically allegedly started snapping on offset in fact let's go to what tmz had to report to give you even a deeper inner coverage of this whole fiasco and situation that's going on. now what they're saying is this there's clearly still serious bad blood between Migos rappers Quavo and Offset following the death of Takeoff and those emotions boiled over backstage at the Grammys into a physical throw all out fight sources at the show tells us just before Quavo took the stage to perform his song without you as tribute to take off during uh, the in memoriam segment of the show he and offset got into a physical fight and had to be pulled apart now physical ladies and gentlemen mean the swing has got going so it got very physical real quick and let's keep reading the articles now they're saying as for what led to it we're told that the grammys had to ask offset to be um, well, we're told the Grammys had asked Offset to be part of the tribute, but Quavo refused to let him take part. We're told Quavo blocked Offset from joining him on stage, leading to the melee. Our sources say it was not Offset who started the fight. So that's what we're trying. And we got more, but let's continue with this part. This is what we're trying to blame to you or, or say to you, I should say. Everybody always blames Offset for being a troublemaker, according to P from QC's label. He, remember that statement he said, we all know who's the problem. Even during the lawsuit they tried to throw out, everybody clearly have some type of issue with Offset, all the way from 42 Doug, Little Baby. A lot of people don't get along with him, and there's two sides to every story. But it seems to be one story continuously that goes on and on as far as favoring that the Migos goals are probably finally over with because after this fight situation i'll give a pass to any family member to have their blood boiling hot and getting an altercation but as far as fighting during a great moment to remember the late great takeoff this one is going to be in the history books i don't see any repair in the friendship or, or the relationship of a family but what i can continue reading is the last part of this now we should note Quavo and Takeoff were extremely close at the time of Takeoff murder. Offset was on the outs with the group. Quavo, Quavo's "Without You" was a song he specifically uh, specified and wrote for Takeoff. Nonetheless, people watching Sunday's night show were disappointed to see it was clear there had not been a real conciliation between Quavo and Offset since Takeoff murder. Now, what I'm going to say is since this funeral situation i'm kind of let down too that I, I i've seen the funeral pictures it looked like bro and them and everybody was you know in love with each other bro they were at that funeral and and, and and everybody was dapping it up everything seemed cordial respectful so I, i'm at I, I, i'm baffled right now gang just to say it go you can tell something emotionally and physically happened that people are not really shaming in on my personal opinion you're looking at the pictures you're seeing them vibing together and you heard jay prince took the opportunity to to say what he said and responded to offset and you gotta look this is what
what he said to Offset because you could tell a lot of people talk behind Offset back because I don't think Jay Prince would have ever did that interview if somebody didn't give him the the resources as far as pillow talking behind Offset's back and saying we don't rock with him. It's Offset, dude. I ain't gonna leave him out. You know, I'm just real like this, you know, because you know. You know, niggas be throwing rocks and hiding their hand, right? They be throwing rocks and hiding their hand. And uh, I don't like them kind of individuals. You know, and, and the truth of the matter is, you know, one can... I, I did the whole video on that. If you guys would like to see that whole video, I even did Offset responding. I'm my real brother. I don't know what y'all niggas got, what the fuck niggas got going on. Y'all niggas speaking on my real brother. How dare one of y'all niggas speak on me and take relationship nigga i don't know you nigga. i can't paint nigga. Y'all nigga now you can see offset was clearly mad about that like he, he ain't gonna let it go now me personally i seen takeoff showing love for offset sometimes it look uncomfortable with all of them together i'm not gonna cap sometimes i thought to myself take off you know being the nephew of quavo then it made sense for them to always stick together but if offset is your cousin your family what's going on gang behind the scenes and these are the tributals and the trivials that people have been ongoing issues with this situation and folks just don't know what it is anymore they don't know if it's up there and it's stuck there but it's uncomfortable that grammy is going to go down in history as the most uncomfortable memorial and the most beautiful memorial to somebody who died but me personally i felt that i can't tell a grown man what to do when they're emotional about a situation but that that topic and that physical altercation could have wait after maybe the next day or something because maybe quavo really feels like that so who am i to tell quavo not to tell another person how he feels but the problem is the whole world is watching today was not about quavo or take off i mean or offset it was strictly and only about takeoff and all the legends like K Slay, DJ K Slay that we lost and everybody else. So for that night is going to be remembered as the night Quavo and takeoff took off on each other. And, and it's going to make dudes like Jay Prince over this interview look corrected. It's going to um, um it's going to make Q and coach from QC the label. I mean, P and coach is going to make them look correct as far as what people's been saying about offset. This whole thing is actually sad man if you look at the motion of it if you're a real fan and supporter of any of these guys you don't wish for any of this to go out because now we already know the bells and the whistles already got sent out so you can pretty much go to a quicker feeling and what's gonna happen look i love each and every one of y'all but i need uncle ruckus to tell y'all something i gave you good entertainment i give you good folks music i give you good folks commentary now nah, i nah, don't give you good white folks content now hit the like button and support a real one hit the like button subscribe like he said don't be ahead all your life and support smash that like button hit that notification bell like share comment and subscribe to the i smoke hip-hop live platform love your family love your kids and stay blessed i smoke hip-hop nation peace